Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do this very fall inspired look. Again, another fall inspired look, of course, because it's my favorite. And I'm just focusing this look on golden, oranges, and red colors just because I love those colors and I think they look really nice in everyone. They really complement everybody and it's nothing too traumatic so this look can be worn every day if you'd like or it can be worn for a special occasion. And remember you can always add things and take away things that I did. And of course remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on information and check out my new videos. And also leave a comment down below and give it a big thumbs up because that would definitely help me out. So let's get into the tutorial. So first so I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. Taking a little bit of that, I'm just rubbing it. As usual, I'm going in with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm almost out of this, so I have to figure out something new or if I'm going to repurchase it, but it is a pretty penny, so I'm not sure. But I love having a primer that's illuminating and makes your skin look really hydrated and glowing. Next, as so you've seen a million times now, I'm going in with my Anastasia foundation stick. Going in with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I really like using a brush with this foundation. I don't really like using the, the Beauty Blender. When I use the Beauty Blender with this foundation, Honestly, it just feels like I'm taking off all the product on my face, which is not what I want. Once I'm done with my foundation, I'm going in with my Erase Taste. I honestly feel like this erase paste helps my eyes so much they do not look that dark at all and even though there's not that much darkness to begin with it's still really nice to have a bright fresh face. I feel like my face right now just looks really flawless but she doesn't want a flawless face so good job. Good job Benefit. I don't know why I keep closing my mirror either because I'm just going to use it and then I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye that really helps brighten everything up. So here you can see that it's like one even tone, not really darkness here, and this is where you get that highlighted effect. Just to make sure it's totally blended in, I like to go in with my Morphe 439 brush under the eyes and just press it in. And to set that, I'm going to go in with my Cody Air Spun Powder with the Beauty Blender. Get a little bakage going on. And then just on the bottom of my chin because I do get a little bit oily there. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I'm just going to do this off camera because I'm sure that it gets tedious seeing the same eyebrow routine every time. So now that my eyebrows are on and ready to go, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette with my two usual suspect colors and brushing that big away. For bronzer, I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer and I've really been loving this bronzer since I got it in my Sephora Play Box. I think it's so blendable, it smells amazing, and it's the perfect color for just a nice bronzy look. Now that I'm done with my bronzer, I'm going in with my Tarte Color Wheel Blush Palette, and it comes with 10 blushes, and I'm going to go in with... What am I going to go with? I think I'm going to go in with Concept right here. These are very pigmented. So, just on the apples of my cheeks. In this palette, I'm going to try and use this highlight right here. It is in the shade Idol. This is a very subtle highlight. 
So this is a pretty subtle highlight. It's good for someone who doesn't like too much in their face, but I like a lot of in my face. So I'm actually going to also go in with my Ofra Cosmetics one. Where is it? This one right here. Just do a little extra. That's better. Ching! In your face. In your face highlight. So for eyes today, now that I'm done with my face, I'm not sure what I want to do with my eyes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna center my eyes around these like nice orange red metallic colors right here for my Violet Boss palette. And I'm gonna start off as usual going into my base and that is the basic shade in this palette which is just a neutral cream color right there. Just to set everything. Then I'm going to go into Chris Pot. And Mama Bird, I'm going to take Mama Bird on that fluffy brush, concentrating that on the outside, but creating a nice transition. This Laura Lee Violet Boss palette is honestly one of my favorite palettes because it's something that I could just take with me, just this palette, and be able to create as many looks as I needed to, whether they're neutral or they're a little more bold or I want a little bit of color in them. It's awesome. But honestly, you can just use any neutral or shades like that. Um, I just have mostly palettes because I feel like you get the bang for your back. And then with my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to go into Bridges. I'm going to make sure everything's blended out with my fluffier brush. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Alabama, which is this shade right here that on the lower part of my outer corner. It's looking crazy in this lighting back here. But you can see when I'm up close, it's actually So with this Smashbox little flat brush right here, I'm going to go into Glamour Jammer. Taking excess off and going, concentrating this on the inner quarter, inner corner and middle portion of the eye. I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush to Clean up any harsh lines. And obviously you guys can see from my channel that I'm doing so much fall stuff right now, fall colors, just because I love fall. It's the best season ever. And I think fall makeup looks so nice. So then I'm gonna go in with the Sonia Kashuk brush and I think I'm gonna go into 1988. And I'm gonna mix that in a little bit with Hissy Fit. Take those two colors together. Tap off the excess and I'm going to concentrate this part in the middle portion of the eye. Just the center of the lid. Just to bring that extra dimension. But then again to soften up any lines from where I just put that color. And for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with Mama Bird. gonna take this little bad boy right here with some riches and smoke those two other colors out. Just to get a little bit more dimension, I'm taking that flat and gold brush and I'm gonna go into the buzz and gently press this color into the top lash line. I don't even think I'm going to do eyeliner for this look today. I'm just going to go in with my mascara.
And for lips, I'm going in with my Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. So that is my completed look. I love how it turned out. It's super fall inspired. I was originally going to do more purples, but I decided to stick with those orange and red reddish colors. So I love that it's subtle, but it's still got a little bit of pop of color. And the nude lip, I think, really tones it down. But if you wanted to, you could add a bolder lip. I just, my lips are so dry right now, they need a more nude lip. That way, when they get all dried out from that liquid lipstick, you know, they don't look like a prune. Don't look like a prune. No one likes prune lips. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.